YouTube, what up, what up? It's your boy Joe Simmer, and check it out, man. We're fixing to go over cover three, all right? So I'm gonna show y'all how to beat cover three, uh, tips and tricks uh, against cover three that I run. A lot of good stuff you're gonna learn. Um, and also, you know, next, next gen uh, Madden moves differently than current gen, okay? So, you know, catching the ball and then sprinting up is a lot slower, okay? Stuff like that, okay? So there are certain routes that you can't have on the field now in this game so there's just a whole bunch of stuff we're gonna go over i'm gonna try to keep it under 20 minutes all right try to give you all some game okay so this is a very in-depth tutorial on how to beat cover three also i have ebooks that i'm ready to release man i got a dollar i got nickel over uh, all for free i'm not charging you guys again this year i just i don't need to <clears throat> you know i'm not that desperate for money so i'm not gonna charge you guys but I need support, okay? So I need y'all to hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Let me know you want to see the ebooks, and then I can drop. Um, like I said, I got offensive ebooks, bunch trips. Uh, I got dollar ebook. I got three through five wide ebook. I got nickel over ebook. Uh, I got goal line defense. I got how to shoot gaps. I got all the good stuff. All right. So the only thing is is my tight offset. Okay, my tight offset offensive the, the stuff i'm running in my gameplay videos i'm still struggling to run that so i do not have an ebook i'm trying to learn it and i still haven't learned it yet but anyways <laughs> back into the video okay so let's talk cover three okay so cover three what do you usually have and what are the weak spots okay so this is dollar okay this is like a cover three um kind of cover three hybrid i guess you could say okay so what they're gonna do um is they're you know gonna press right they're gonna press in dollar okay so the weak spots in cover three okay are going to be this area right here okay all the seam okay now usually in cover three both seams are the weak spot okay so as well as usually over here there's a there's this guy's usually not manned up okay so this is kind of just how the how the stock play comes out uh but usually in a cover three this is going to be the weak spot on both sides okay so that's more of a weak side okay what else is the weak spot against cover three okay um it's going to be out routes okay so out routes um you can either smart route them you can either uh, have a five yard out route this corner right here he's not gonna break on the out route okay uh because he's in a deep zone so that's his job i mean if he was in one of these if he was in a cloud flat maybe have a little bit better break on it because he's just kind of hovering in this area as soon as you throw it he's gonna break to it okay that's not gonna happen when someone when a corner's in uh, a deep third like this okay so he's just gonna kind of his job is to not get beat deep <clears throat> Okay, another weak spot is going to be smoke screens okay having a smoke screen uh the only problem with smoke screens this year is i don't recommend smoke screens this year because uh like the 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 rack animation you get after you catch it is just so slow that's why rpos really aren't that effective this year they're still good but they're pretty slow so you know if you catch a smoke screen here you're probably gonna get tackled within two three yards and it's just not you know there are better options is what i'm saying all right, so cover three. Okay, so how do we beat cover three? Let me get off this guy. All right, let's go. Uh, let's let's do the out route. Okay, so I'm going to do an out route uh, and a streak seam. Okay, so what I'm going to do, boom, the out route's going to be open. It's going to be money all day, every day, uh, even if they press. Okay, so let's try to press. Okay, the, this one's pressed. I'm going to streak actually this guy too. Okay, and then boom. I mean, he's just going to, it's going to be money every time. Okay, so out routes definitely definitely are going to be uh cover three okay and another thing that you can do is you can smart route the out route okay so when you smart route the out route um your smart routing it is you press all right y or triangle the icon and then you hit rb or r1 okay so that's going to smart route okay so what that means is uh he'll go into the the next first down and then he's gonna hit an out route okay so let's try this right here okay boom okay you got to get the timing down pretty well um and that's a good that's a good play now something i want to show you is what you're going to want to do what's really important when run when going against cover three is going to be um using the hash okay so if you're using cover three uh in the middle of the hash okay in the middle of the field 
uh, maybe pay more attention to the streak, uh, you know, the the streak seam routes. Okay, but when you are on a hash, you're gonna want to throw the out route to the short side. Okay, so let's say I put, all right, let's say I put Brown on out route. Okay, it's it's a smart routed out route. That's a real, that's a very dangerous throw, man. That is a very dangerous throw because. Uh, look how far I am without gunslinger. Okay, no gunslinger, and um, just the way that defense plays this year is, you know, pretty insane. They're gonna jump that ball really fast. So if I try to throw this right here, I mean, there's just, you know what I mean? The ball kind of chilling, floating up in the air. Not exactly ideal. So what I would do is I would throw short side okay you see how much you see how, how much faster that is i mean that's what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stick to the hash marks okay against cover three um and like i said if you're in the middle of the field then you can do something like that okay you can uh you can you know focus on on streak routes okay another thing that you can do is um you can run a combo like this okay so i have an out route okay let's say i smart route the out route um, now, this is something you got to pay attention to, okay? Is in cover three, sometimes they will put uh, 15 on their zone drops, okay? So that this guy, this purple zone is going to drop into a 15-yard purple zone, okay? That's going to take away that out route. So you have to pay attention to what are what is your opponent doing on defense? What are his zone drops? You, if you see cover three pop up in, in, in the top right, okay? So you see cover three pop up and you're throwing interception every an interception every time and the guy's breaking on that ball on the out route and you're on the short side don't come to me complaining you didn't pay attention to the zone drop so homeboy's dropping his guys back in 15s that's gonna cancel out your your out route so you gotta you know you gotta think about stuff like that you gotta pay attention you guys gotta pay attention man so that's just one of the things is if i have homeboy in a 15 and i shade outside and pass commit on defense that out route's going to be locked up. All right, so let's run this combo, okay? Now, um, right, right here, boom. All right, you that's a that dig route, okay? That that's like a, a stop route or a dig route, okay? You can call it whatever you want, but okay, that's what's going to happen. It, is if you can buy time and you're patient enough, right? That safety's going to break, okay? Uh, usually he's going to break on that guy, okay? It doesn't matter if it's um, Maybe all Madden, maybe a little bit more glitchy, but I'm gonna try to freeform this to the inside. Okay, boom, freeform that to the inside. Okay, so I freeform that away from the defender. Okay, so so freeform. I have a whole freeform video too, and I will leave that in the top right. So click that, click that link if you want to learn how to freeform, become a freeform demon. All right, so. But I mean, this is just a simple thing that you can do. Now let's start going into the route commas, but you're definitely gonna want a free form. Look at that. That's another free form inside shoulder. Okay, so I threw inside shoulder to that guy. Okay. So free form video, definitely something you're gonna want to check out. I have a video on that. Let's hop into the next tip. Okay, so now we are in right verticals. Okay, verticals is a very easy play to run. All right, there's a lot you can do out of it. Let me flip this defense. All right, so as you see, they're baseline, okay? So I have two high, I have two safeties, and one of them's going to drop down, okay? Now, a cool setup that you can run is going to be this right here, okay? So you have Smith on the out route. That's going to be money. So that's usually the first read, especially since I'm on the right hash, okay? Second read is going to be Sanders. Third read is going to be... Um, well, it, honestly, the reads don't really matter. Uh, the first thing that... Because I already kind of know my route combo, right? Um, the first thing that I look at is the safeties. That's the very first thing I look at whenever I'm I'm dissecting cover three or any coverages. I look at the safeties and then uh, I kind of go from there. So I'll motion. This is what I'm going to do is I'm going to motion brown out and then snap while he's in motion. Okay, so you'll see how, how crisp, you know, just how easy it is to pick up yards on this. Boom. And then I, you know, if you have somebody better, if you have somebody faster, definitely... Um, all right, here's this. Okay, so cover three, right? So he's definitely going to get open a lot better. Now, another thing you're going to look for 
is the crossing route okay you're always going to want a possession catch that okay if the user doesn't get there the crossing route is going to torch cover three every time okay so it's going to torch it's going to torch cover three every every time okay so i always like i said i always try to run a bunch to the wide side okay he's in base aligned um what you can do is you can leave brown and goddard stock you know maybe this time you just streak uh r1 okay now what that's gonna do is leave it right open in the middle okay and then you're good to go all right whenever you play mutt you know all it takes is is you to beat that one safety in this touchdown all right guys so now i'm in a play i went into random cover three so they're gonna give us quite a bit of looks um i'm in a slot offset okay gun a slot offset man this is a really good play uh i came out in post okay so post is a really good play man you don't have to do too much um there's barely anything you have to do. I mean, if you want to get fancy, you can streak Sanders. Goddard's probably going to be open, okay? If I smart route him, all right, probably going to be a little bit more crisp. But what you're looking for here is you're looking for, um, you're looking for that corner route, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to try to force them to change their zone drops with this corner route. There's just something about this corner route. It's not the average corner route, okay? So against cover three, it's going to be money damn near every time okay all i'm doing is i'm free forming to the outside three for three i mean this this play that corner is just it's it's every time man it's every time okay it's every freaking time okay so you're gonna want to uh run that play that's the first that's i literally as soon as i snap the ball i look to the left side okay so this right here all right it's going to be the corner every time okay if there's no zone drops the corner like i said all right second read is i look for the running back okay so i'll usually hit the running back in the middle and then i'll go from there now the user is their user is usually going to be in the middle so this is a good thing because uh if they put that slot corner in a you know if they change their zone drops and now their slot corners in a in a 15 trying to take away the corner or in a 20 trying to take away the corner then you know why is going to be wide open so let me show you that and let's do that okay so i put 15 i put a plus 15 on the curl flats okay so now he's dropping back and now you hit y so that's the alternative to his own drops okay so if they it's a high low read basically so now i got 15s right i got 15s 15 then i'll just hit the tight end all game that's eight yards that's almost a first down just by hitting a flat route and just by looking at the zone drops okay so every time boom right just wait wait for it wait for it i'm getting a solid you know 10 yards every time but that's how you beat i mean that's just one of the things okay because if i throw the corner right it's a little bit it takes a little bit longer okay and if they have a good enough corner they can probably break on that so the 15 is gonna kind of match on okay um and kind of destroy that okay so it just kind of depends all right look at this right here right every time i mean it's money it's money it's money another thing that you can do against cover three is you can always streak a tight end okay there's nothing wrong with streaking a tight end and then having sanders right here okay because the user is going to be forced to to guard somebody okay and so i went ahead and just hit sanders right there okay so let's say i leave the texas route leave the texas route leave the texas route you know damn near every time Okay, boom i'll hit you know the tight end on the corner this time okay so the corner can definitely be effective uh against cover three it's going to be more of a tighter window and you're going to want it to develop as you see here so it, the tight end corner kind of dangerous i would rather have the tight end on an out route or something like that and if he gets followed then you can also if if you have enough time you can hit uh aj brown all right another play i like to run against cover three is going to be spacing switch and gun bunch now i like to flip it and run strong side okay so i'll, I'll flip it and i'll run strong side i may make an adjustment like this but honestly these routes are incredible so as is i mean the routes are, are solid and then boom i can hit you know aj brown on the side right there okay let's see i no huddle i do the same thing i caught him into cover three let's make your adjustments real quick all right what else you can do is you can motion them out okay let's do right remember that that's the motion that's that motion out route okay let's say you need a quick first down okay something like that another thing that i'll do is if that out routes get bagged i'll run a wheel out slant combo okay and i'll just wait for 
the slant to get open. Because what's going to happen is the user is going to have to guard. Uh, you know, the user on this play is going to have to either be really fast with their adjustments because it's a quick hiking one. Okay. So as you see here, right, let's see. All right. So that, that strong safety came down. Okay. So I have, you got the out every time. I'm trying to tell you guys, you got the out every time. Okay. Um, but it's between the wheel. Okay. First read is the wheel. Okay. That's my first read. Okay. I'll go over here. First read is the wheel. Okay, you gotta be careful because homeboy right here can jump that and it's pick six. So if I'm patient, a little bit more patient, then the slant route's gonna be open all day because the user came and got the tight end. Okay, if the user was over here, this tight end's gonna be money right here. Okay, so that's a great, it's a great stock play to run. But depending on where do I see his user, you know, if, if his user is over here, man, there's hella drifting on this controller. But if there's a, you know, if the user's like on this side, on, on the bunch side, then I'll pay attention to the running back. You know, I'll pay attention to the out route and the running back. So if it's like this, okay, then I'll have my combo, which is going to be this right here. Okay, so right here, boom. All right. And then, right, I'll try to hit, you know, the running back real quick. Okay, so let's, let's do the same thing. Let's do like a realistic, right, so, right, I'll run something like this. Okay. I flip, all right, so then he stays same. Most people are not gonna flip online. I'm being honest. Most people are not going to flip their defense. They don't really, you know, think about stuff like that. So if I feel like he's gonna be on that side, you know, guarding that or whatever, then I'll just do this right here and I'll hit that right there, okay? I'll hit that route. So, I mean, that play is so amazing, man. You can do so much out of that play. All right, guys, and now we're gonna end it off with probably the best play against uh, cover three, cover two, and you really can just run it stock. You could do uh, so many things out of it. This is a bonus play, so if you're still watching the video, um, everybody else who clicked off is, you know, too bad for them. So if you're still watching towards the end of the video, man, this play is for you. So we are going to be in tight doubles, all right? And the play that we're going over is cross wheels, okay? So this is in uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, all right? So... Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, and then uh, by play type, we'll go cover three, random cover three. All right, so usually you'll want to streak uh, Evans, okay? So you'll want to streak Evans, and you can just run this stock right here, okay? First rate is always going to be this guy, boom. So without making too many adjustments, this is a great quick hiking scheme for everybody who wants to play, you know, cover three, all right? Same thing every time, okay? Now I'll just, I'll hit Evans. So it's between Evans, or uh, uh, let's see, Jones is my first read, Evans is second, all right, and then I'll go to someone else. You know, um, the running back, you know what you could do on the running back is you could just have him on a flat, and then you can have a corner route on Godwin, okay? So you can run something like this, right, probably high past that. All right, hopefully he hangs on to the ball, but this play is just lethal, man. It's so lethal, all right, because also... Right, I could free form. I got the tight end. Easy five yards. I mean, easy money. This play, <clears throat> this play is so, this play is absolutely amazing. You know, uh, hot route master, okay? If you have hot route master, you could do something like this, okay? You can block the running back, try to get some extra blocking in there. All right, you can, um, you can streak the tight end, and then you can run something like this, okay? The only thing is you need time, but if you need, if you get time, then uh, the tight end is probably going to be open. So let's try to get some time here. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about right there. Like that play is so money. If you have Gunslinger, um, it, it's it's money, especially in Mutt. But that's all you want to do. That's literally the, the setup. And then you can adjust out of it. You know, you could put... You could do something like this, okay? So you can have... Right? Slant. So you have... Uh, a corner slant streak combo all right and then this guy's gonna be money every time like you said and then you get out of bounds so if you don't have a lot of timeouts and stuff like that then you can run this but this play is just this play is absolutely crazy this is a great setup i like to run out of this right here so i kind of just flip it all right evan's gonna be open right here so i'll just hit him in the middle uh should i high pass that one but that's what you want to do is you kind of just want to you can just kind of freestyle this right here, okay? The corner route is going to be open, going to be money. I mean, dude, 
So y'all are lucky, man. If you stay to the end of the video, man, this this was the little bonus play right here. Okay, so uh, and and Guntai doubles Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. 